Our next speaker is uh, again Dr. George Sokos, uh, who's professor of medicine at Harvard Medical School. And George is going to talk this time on mechanisms of tissue injury and SLE. George. And we'll continue talking about organ injury. And I'll try to stress again what I pointed out in the morning, the importance of local factors in development of organ damage. And that's what I'm going to start with this afternoon. And this is, again, my favorite cartoon where factors, a bunch of factors shown at the top of the slide generate common effectors of the immune response. And uh, we have to, to, to solve the dilemma why certain organs are involved in certain patients and other organs in other patients. And the premise here, the assumption is that uh, local, still unrecognized factors are important for the execution of damage. And I'll show you two examples. These are the same faces of the patient I showed to you in the morning. And underneath you will see a uh, biopsy. And skin biopsy in most of lupus patients looks more or less the same. Uh, the main elements here are the presence of inflammatory cells uh, in the dermis, these cells are T cells, are B cells, but more importantly, in there you'll find PDCs, plasmacytoid dendritic cells, which produce interferon. And these cells go there from monocytes. Monocytes invade the skin, and lupus patients differentiate to PDCs, secrete interferon, among other things. The other important thing here is to note is the apoptotic keratinocytes that uh, are present in patients with lupus. I haven't seen in skin biopsies from uh, other patients, and I look quite routinely in patients with uh, dermatomyositis and, and other. And the, the importance of, this keratin, of these apoptotic cells is that as they die, they release uh, uh, nuclear material, nuclear material goes into the circulation and stimulates the immune system and the autoimmune component of that, and in that way uh, it, um, it helps the expression of the disease. And if you consider that these cells are mostly, uh, become, become apoptotic upon exposure to UVB light, uh, then you can understand the basis of photosensitivity which is not only uh, infl inflammation in, in the skin, not only skin lesions, but generalized uh, constitutional symptoms and sometimes flare of disease that they had before, let's say uh, kidney disease. So as I mentioned in the morning, sometimes the, the skin disease and lupus patient uh, can take a severe form of pemphigus vulgaris. The, the, Keep in mind, again, these bolus lesions will be only present in sun-exposed areas, and the photosensitive distribution will help you say if that is lupus-related lesions or if they are real pemphigus vulgaris, at which point you call a dermatologist. Um, how we treat them, as you know, with steroids, locals sometimes help, antimalarials, and it's, they help a lot, and it's important to consider trying various of them in sequence. Another important drug here is Imuran, azathioprine. The reason azathioprine helps patients with skin diseases the most is because specifically one of its actions is to inhibit differentiation of monocytes into PDCs. And that's why it is usually helpful in patients with skin disease. But the most important thing is don't forget to tell people how to protect themselves from the sun. This is the most important uh, thing that you can do or you can tell the patients. Now, let me in one slide summarize a bunch of studies will point out to the significance of local factors in the expression of the skin. And I will have another example for the kidney. As you know, TNF blockade, you all, all of you have used TNF blockade for an, a number of patients, is associated with expression of autoimmunity. Now, two different concepts. Autoimmunity is the presence of autoantibodies in the periphery, autoreactive T cells and everything. O organ damage and the disease are two different things. You can have autoimmunity without organ damage. Uh, I might tell you that all of us have an autoimmune response going 